All right, Kaiju, you've met your match. Grid? Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Why are we even reviewing these things? Because people might have an actual general interest in the Kaiju figures? Hate to break it to you, but because you don't have those sweet luscious thighs. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna give this review two craps. Well, to be fair, this guy sorta has thighs. Just read them and weep, boys. And I also got human Godzilla Kaiju things growing out of my tail. But sometimes it's just things that we don't ever want to bring up ever again then besides honestly how many kaiju figures are there compared to the amount of figures there are for those chicks from this anime god it's really sickening me but then again anime girls are anime girls so i guess i can't hate them too hard you know people check out this review you'll see this video will get all the likes just like a kanye's bathing suit <laughs> somebody gets it listen to brain is over the geeches my name's steve my name's Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the SSSS Sofubi Kaijus of SSS Squid Man of Gugulus and Anti. There's a lot of S's there, Steve. I'm There's confused. a lot of S's. Um, what these are, are just like, they're sort of like Bandai vinyls, uh, but from Good Smile. Uh, they go along with your Figma Gridman figures and Grid Knights. Uh, so that they have something to battle with and not just standing on your shelves by themselves. Which I almost kind of like this idea for like random offshoot characters. I kind of wish they would maybe do this more with some of the other um, lines. Like maybe make some like little vinyl goblins for Goblin Slayer. Yeah, I would stick with Kaijus because like maybe you would buy the vinyl goblin for the Goblin Slayer. But that would be like it. Yeah, well it's not. It'd be cheap, right? Yeah, it would be cheap, definitely, yeah, but... Well, just, like, throwing out examples, like, little monster, like, monsters or things for them to battle with. But you don't want to, like, they don't think it would sell as well as, say, a Figma. Because, like, a Figma of these things would have been, like, oh. oh. <laughs> would have been kind of pricey. I would have still probably bought them. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see what you mean. So you're talking about, like, the offshoot characters, like the Roaches from the Godzilla movie, right? Yeah, if like you... that. Or even, like, um... If I'm trying to think of figmas like I was, like make the frogs from Konosuba. Yeah, like the frogs that eat the girls, like that would have been great. Like something, like stuff like that, or maybe like the, um, oh whatever, like the Dilophosaurus lizard looking things that are chasing oh, after. Can him. you make a frog where like one of the Konosuba figures would actually fit in there? Right, would have been great. Please buy our ideas from us. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, again, these are from the anime SSSS Gridman. Uh, this one's Gugulas, this one's Anti, uh, this one's the one that eventually becomes Grid Knight in the anime. So, uh, well, I just probably spoiled things for you guys if you haven't uh -oh, actually watched the anime. Alert. But, if you guys are watching this video, you probably had some, like, you've seen the anime. At least I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, why would you watch this? It's a great anime, though. Still go watch it. Please and thank you. Um, but anyways, uh, to get in these guys, so, for, without further ado, further packaging... Uh, what you would have got when you got these, they came in little baggies with these little cards. Uh, this one's torn, but I had, I do have one with still with the bag. But this one's the one that's sitting here right now. But you got Gridman, Gugulus in the front. On the back, it's got Akane making the kaiju. And then, not much else stuff there. Just some Yiga Mumba Jumbo. That's yeah, pretty much lot, it. Not a lot of people liked her. I thought she was a good character. Akane? Yeah. Yeah, I thought she was fine. So what if she stabbed him? <laughs> oh wait, spoiler free, I'm sorry you guys. God bless you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but it's like which girl do you pick though? Is it do you pick Rika or Akane? Oh Akane all the way. I'm torn because Rika I like my girls to be a little bad. I, like Akane's more like when I think of anime care like designs that I like, I gravitate towards her, but I kinda like Rika. Why? I don't know. I think it's probably just because I'm pretty sure she was never wearing pants. Good point. <laughs> but anyway, since uh, they're out of their little plastic prisons, let's get into them. So I guess we'll start with Gugilas because uh, this was the first Wait, kaiju that... How do you say his name, Steve? Gugilas. Gugilas? Gugilas. That sounds weird. Uh, it, it's definitely a, a name to get used to, <laughs> for sure. But this is the first kaiju he fought in the anime, so... Figure this would be the nice one to go over. Uh, but for the overall paint job and detailing for the figure, this one I feel like is actually probably the best one out of the pair. You think so? Yeah, well, it's just like this is how he looked in the anime. Like you could have put more joints on it, but it it's what it looked like. I know it did, but still, it's kind of like 
He's a, he's a goofy looking kaiju. Yeah, that's my issue. For sure. Because you got like the elongated neck here. It's got the little dragon like face with the spiraling horns on the top section with some metallic silver. But overall, the top of the face is done in this blue vinyl. And then you get like the mixing vinyl on the back here, which I can't tell if it's painted or if it's vinyl. Whatever it is, it's not right. I guess the blue, I guess the blue's painted on, and it's like a pink vinyl for this section here. Then you get some metallic silver here for the teeth, the nose bit's red, with some, eh, it's like a reddish orange for the eyes, and it's pretty much the same coloring for the tongue and the inside of the mouth here. Uh, moving down the neck into the giant bulbous shoulder here, uh, you get more of the spikes in the back here, which got some actually like little minute detailing inside of them. Which might have been nice to maybe see like a little bit of like a black paint to help show out the detailing there. Uh, but for the most part, it's still got a little bit of shading going on the top section of the head, which I do appreciate. You got these little orange orbs on the shoulders here. You know, the first time I saw that monster, I thought those were like his eyes. Kind of right. Like this could have almost been the body and this yeah. would have been like almost like an elephant thing with the trunk and then the head on the front of it. That might have been kind of cool. And that's kind of almost like the look this thing's giving off. Because this almost look to me reminds this could have been a Tokusetsu. Definitely. Because yeah. the guy would have been here and couldn't have been able to look out of the little domes and then it just would have been kind of doing its own thing on the front. Uh which you get the same kind of twirling horns here coming out the sides of the shoulders here. And then more of the red spiky protrusions which have a lot of nice detailing on each of the spikes as well. Which again, Blackwash would have done wonders. Uh but some of the blue kind of intrudes on the spikes here, which I'm not as big of a fan of. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't remember. Uh, in the anime, I'm pretty sure this should have been like all red here. Yeah, like, right. It would have been right here too. But to make the paint job a little bit more simpler, I Easier. guess. Yeah, it's, it bleeds in a little bit on the spikes, which sucks a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, but you can see the same blue stripes coming down the arms here, which primarily the rest of the kaiju is done in a pink. But you get that little metallic silver here like you'd see on the old Imperial Godzilla's there. Uh, same with metallic silver here for the claws. It's got three claws on its hands, three toes. Uh, only copyright information on the bottom of its feet. Legal mumbo jumbo. Pretty much. And some nice detailing on the undersection of the tummy, which is pretty much what you get for the undersection of the neck and the stomach as well. Uh, which is very typical kaiju with a tail it usually has this kind of detailing there why is this tail silver the tail i don't know i was gonna say maybe it's like a horn but it almost looks like little bits of like like a drill or something yeah it's like almost like a drill but it, to me it almost looks like hair coming off the back of your too. <laughs> i'm not really sure what's going on there but you do get some more spikes coming along the tail here and then he's also got a really nice little bumpy texture going on for the top sections of his body uh, for the articulation, head can rotate all the way around. Now that the face, arms can yeah. rotate all the way around as well. Figure like this, I wouldn't expect any good articulation on it. Yeah, but you are paying like, uh, he's like 35, I think. He's like 30, 35 for this one. Uh, legs can go forward and back though. And the tail. Okay, nothing really much at the tail. And then we got Auntie. Or Auntie. I like calling him Auntie, Auntie Mama. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like the way they, like, they pronounce it in the anime. It always sounds like Auntie to me. Uh, but detailing of this guy definitely has a lot more going on in terms of the paint job. With a lot of purples. You got some gold here for the little nubs here. Some metallic silver here for the intersectioning. Which he kind of almost gives off a very Zatan vibe. Yeah, that's what he reminds me of. That's what he looks like to me at least. It's like a super duper armored Zatan. Uh, but with like the Cyclopean helmets on the front section here with a little orb thing going on in the helmet with some cloth, I don't know, tusk coming along the side of his face. Uh, definitely a pretty cool face cup. Like the eyes almost look like teeth. And this is supposed to be the mouth and closing on it. Like you're kind of confused about it. It's a weird design, but I almost, uh, I definitely appreciate it. And then you get the lifting section here on the back here, which kind of has like a very Giver feel to it. Like it's almost like an organic separation there. And you also see the same thing going on on the shoulders here and on the intersectionings of the armor bits. 
And then for the shoulders, you get some more of the gold orbs, little shoulder pad here. Claws are done in a gloss black, which only go up a certain section of his forearm and then it kind of fades off into the purple here. Uh, the back doesn't really got too much detailing going on here in terms of the paint job, but still really nice sculpting lines here for the rest it of the looks, figure. It looks pretty good. Yeah, the only thing I don't really like is this giant seam line on the stomach section here. Is not my favorite. See, that's like one of those things like where I would be okay with no articulation on there just to make it look better. Kinda? Like, it's not bad, but I don't know. Especially when you're looking at it from the back, it's definitely the most noticeable thing. But it's a vinyl. It's kind of like you win some, you lose some. I almost wish they would have maybe tried to hit it a little bit better. Like, maybe had the legs be its own molded section. And then it could have just kind of like hid the mold line with in between the armor plating here instead of just a hard separation there but then again i don't really know how to make a vinyl so it might have to be there because it has to be there but then again there's also no leg articulation so it would have been nice to maybe have like again a separation there instead of at the stomach region but moving down the legs here you get some more gold on the front of the thigh armor then some more metallic silver here for the intersection of the armor. And then gloss black for his feet. Which you get three little claws on the back and only two on the front. Wah, wah, wah. It's a little strange. Um, in terms of like anime accurateness, I feel like this one's definitely worse than Gugulus. Which I is. So. Yeah, like I said, Gugulus pretty much like it looks like. You just pulled it out of the anime. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just added some seam lines. Well, this one, I feel like he should have been bulkier. And, like, the way the armor sits, it probably should have been more outstretched. And this guy probably would have been much better off as an actual action figure. Instead of a vinyl. But it still ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Like, standing next to Grid Knight, I don't think he's super de duper uh, off. Off. But for his articulation, nothing at the head. You only really get... Arm rotation, rotation at the stomach, and that's pretty much it. Which kind of sucks because he's actually more expensive than Gugulus too. Uh, actually, about like ten bucks more expensive on average. See, I would rather have his like arms and his uh, shoulders move over his tummy. Yeah, it's almost like at that point you could maybe just made. Well, I know you can't make this one solid figure. Like it couldn't have been that. Because the way vinyl works. Yeah. But, like, I feel like if they could have separated here, I think it would have been great. And then you would have had some leg articulation instead of the waist. And I think that would have worked out better. All right, so for some quick comparisons, here we have Gugilas and Anti comparing next to some other SSSS Gridman figures uh, with the Figma ones of Gridman and Grid Knight. Here they are comparing next to another similar figure line with the Pacific Heart Uprising Sofubi Spirit. Uh, Shrike Thorn and Hakuja. And here they are with some more recently acquired vinyls with the Godzilla 2000 and Mega Gearus from the 2 pack. And because they remind me of Power Ranger villains, here we have the next to some Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Ranger figures with Mighty Morph from White Ranger and Mighty Morph from Black with the Dragon Shield, which was a Walgreen exclusive. And finally, here they are with some Playmate Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad figures uh, with Kilo Khan and Scorn. So overall, for the SSSS Gridman Sofubi figures, of anti and Gugilus. Took me a second. Uh, <laughs> these things overall are pretty sweet. Um, I definitely like Gugilus more than Anti. Uh, anti is just fine, but for the price point, I think it could have definitely been a little bit better. Uh, but if you guys are into Grid Band and you're buying the Figmas anyways, I still think these are good enough, especially Gugilus, to pick up with those figures. Overall, I don't think they're that bad, honestly. I mean... I would go for the uh, pink monster than the purple one, but, you know. Yeah, especially for the price point. Yeah. Because uh, for the most part, like, if you're buying Grid Knight, I don't feel like you need Auntie. And then, uh... It's Auntie Mama. God, get it right. Sorry. But Gugilus is, like, clearly a monster that he fights. But Gugilus is definitely the one that, uh... I feel like, as a standalone figure, is easily the best one to get between the two. And it's... And it helps being the most cheapest one to pick up. Um, now I just kind of hope that they keep making some of these vinyls. Like, I want that creepy kaiju that they fight when um, Grid Knight first shows up. Is that why you bought these ones to support it, Steve, to make the ones you want? Yeah, because you're like, oh, man, can you imagine them making the giant land monster from the, the 
the beach episode. There's always a beach episode. <laughs> right, and I appreciate it. <laughs> but what did you guys think? Have you guys picked up these vinyls? What's your favorite grid man of Kaiju or is Ultraman just smarter thing? Please let us know in the comments. We also have an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you guys like to keep up the day with channel and donate, we greatly appreciate it. And help us defeat those Kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.